award-winning Kingston author Jean Ray Baxter joins me to talk about her new novel, The Knotted Rope, a heartwarming adventure about the fight to end slavery. Can you talk a little bit about why you focused on having Indigenous people oh, the... and <laughs> slavery together? Well, it is an odd, an odd pairing, and I was a little bit suspicious myself about it because here I have as the protagonist uh, uh, a young man who was born white, uh, raised, ab raised Oneida, uh, raised to be a, a warrior, and uh, living in a culture, the First Nations culture, which did, which did allow slavery. And uh, how, was, how would he be likely to be opposed to, to opposed to slavery when he was brought up in a culture that tolerated it? But um, I think that it was probably because he had a larger vision of things that he could see the injustice that was done to the native people and he could see the even greater injustice that was being done to the, to the black people. And so that uh, this enabled me to, to rise above any possible kind of conflict there might be in him about, uh, about his own thoughts about slavery. And the main character, Broken, Broken tra trail. trail, he wasn't Aboriginal, he was adopted. Yes. And could you describe what happened to him um, at the beginning and how he became adopted by the Indigenous? Well, his family was a fugitive family from the Mohawk Valley of the province of New York and they were traveling secretly through the forest to get to a place where they'd be able to, uh, uh, to cross, uh, uh, to, to embark and uh, arrive eventually at, uh, at Carlton Island where there was uh, a Fort Alt Haldeman, which is a major British fort. Of course, it's just offshore from Wolf Island. And, um, but they were on the way there because many loyalist refugees from the revolution took shelter in the refugee camp on Carlton Island. Well, he's on the way there and um, um, they are they're encamped. They are kept for various reasons in, in one place for some time. And he is, um, he's, oh, he was not quite 10 years old and he was a rebellious child and he, um, he did not like the fact that his mother expected him to go gathering nuts and berries with the children and, and uh, he thought of himself as, as being, you know, pretty big and, and uh, he did not want to play with girls. He wanted to be a real man and go hunting. And, and, but at any rate, uh, he tried to frighten his mother a couple of times by running away and the second time he, he, um, he ran too far and um, got himself picked up by a band of Oneida hunters who took, him, who took him back to their camp, adopted him, and a new life began for him uh, where he was free from school, which he hated, and able to learn to hunt and trap and, and uh, uh, shoot the bow and arrow and, and do things that appealed to him much, much more. Mm -hmm.